Hi and welcome. So since um, the Flash movie is coming out on June 16th, I decided this week I'll go watch uh, watch and review the two Michael Keaton movies. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, a short break. Uh, of, of watching my Harrison Ford movie that I have on DVD. So after I watch the two, watch and review the two Michael Keaton, um, Batman movie, then I'll pick up, uh, pick up my theory of watching and reviewing all the Harrison Ford movies that I have on DVD before Indian Jones and the Dial of Destiny come out, okay? So, um, so I'm going to review First, Michael Keaton Batman movie that, that he made that was directed by Tim Burton, okay? Um, and then, and then that day or so, I'll watch Batman Return, okay? And then, and then I'll try to go see it, uh, the Flash movie on uh, the 15th of June, okay? And then I'll watch Batman and Robin, uh, when I do my marathon and watch all the, uh, Honor Fortune movies. Okay, because that's the theory I'm doing. Uh, each month I'm watching uh, some of my favorite actors or actors movies that I have on DVD. Okay, um, okay. So, so I have uh, two Michael Keaton Batman movies in it in it for uh, uh, eighty bat um, no a ninety Batman collection. Okay, you might have seen that or have it growing up or okay. I bought it at Walmart, or whatever, okay? So, um, so let me get the background out of the way and then get my thoughts and opinion on it, okay? You got about Tim Burton, uh, starring Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, Tim Baitner, Pat Higlin, Billy D. Williams, Michael Goff, Jack Talent, um, June 23rd, 1989. Okay? Uh, 126 minutes, 48 million with the budget, and it made 411.6 million at the box office. Okay? Um, well, I didn't know that. It said numerous leading men were considering for the role of Batman before Keaton was cast. Keaton casting was controversial set by 1988 and he had become typecast as a comedian actor and many observers doubt his, he could portray a serious role. Nicholson accepted the role of, uh, of the Joker under strict conditions that guided top building portrayal of the film earning, including associated merchandising and his own shooting schedule. Um, okay, I, di I didn't know that, okay? Um, um, the film uh, several Saturn Awards, nomination and Global Award nomination for Nicholson performance and won the Academy Award for Best Art Direction and also led to the development of Equals the successful Batman the Anime Theory, 1992 to 1995, where the time began the DC Anime Universe of spin off media and had influenced Hollywood modern marketing and developed technique of the superhero film drama. The film was followed by three sequels Batman Return, 1992, Burton and Keaton Return, Batman Forever, 1995, with featured Val Kilmer and Lee Rowe, and Batman and Robin, 1997. Uh, I will feature George Clooney in the role. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, so I, I I didn't know that. Okay. Um. So uh, I can sit here all day, read stuff about it, people' opinion. But y'all probably don't want me to uh, do that. Y'all want to hear my opinion. Okay. Uh, I didn't grow up with the movie. Uh, you know, back in the '90s or anything. 
Uh, I didn't see anything in theaters. If I did, I would be a lot older, okay? Um, I watch it every once in a while. I watch it every once in a while, here and there, growing up, okay? Like, like you know, I would say, I think maybe uh, sometime I saw it on TV, sometime um, uh, I saw it, uh, you know, um, when I print on it on, uh, on, on my DVD player, okay? Um, okay? Um, growing up, last five to ten years, I, I heard that, um, who the other one? Um, Christian Bale was the bat Batman actor, okay? To be honest, I don't like him as Batman, okay? I'm not a fan of him, okay? Uh, uh, I can still watch, I can still watch the Batman or Christopher Nolan and Batman movie trilogy, or, or they call it the Dark Knight trilogy, get entertainment out of it, but, but not a fan of, of Christian Bale, okay? Still like him as the actor, but I'm not a fan of him as Batman, okay? The reason why I don't like him as Batman is because, um, it's because, uh, where the Joker? You know, his deep voice, okay? Um, I, I, I like, I like, I like the, uh, Alfred in the, in, in the Dark Knight trilogy, okay? Uh, my favorite Christian Bell, uh, my favorite Christian Bell movie, I think, outside of the Dark Knight trilogy is, uh, this movie with Who's That Man? Because I highly recommend watching this movie, okay? And also, that's, uh, uh, that's the Alfred from, uh, the Dark Knight Trilogy, okay? Um, what else, um, uh, yeah, and, um, uh, okay, um, so, um, Give me a second. Uh, Rotten Tomato gave it a 74%. Okay, the audience 84. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. I would say Jack Nicholson at the Joker is fantastic. He's good. Um. Um. I would say uh, Heath Ledger. Uh, he more darker than Heath Ledger. Um. Like, you know, in, in the Dark Knight, he burned Harvey Dent's face and he's on fire. He, well, he hit the guy with a pencil. That's something like John Wick would do. You know, stab a guy with a pencil. Okay. Um, uh, that Nicholson and Joker, he kind of dark with violent, but there's some comedic moment where, like, he, like, danced in. Okay. Um, uh, so, um, I guess the critics don't like that. Okay. Um. I, I don't know, okay. Uh, some people might say it's outdated. Uh, I imagine a lot of people are going to say this, this is their favorite Batman movie. Or even their favorite movie because they got a lot of nostalgia for it. They grew up with it in the 90s. Watching it or even saw it in theaters. I can understand that, okay. Um, I would say it's a, it's a classic movie, okay? Let's see what some other movie came out in the, uh, in the, um, uh, um, 89. Okay, um, uh, when Harry met Dally, never seen that movie, you know what I mean, never seen that. Dead, poor it. Society, never seen that. Um, Ghostbusters 2? Yeah, I've seen that. Back to the Future. Okay. I like that movie. Um, Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade. I like that. Uh, the Little Mermaid. 
So I would say some some of the best movies or the most popular, like the Little Mermaid, or, or Indian Jones and the Last Crusade, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters 2. Okay. And those are some of the ones that I've seen, and I think are like still popular. Okay. Um now, um uh to me, uh I would say this is more like an origin story of Joker. Uh it do show a little bit a little, little bit of an of an origin story of uh Batman, but not that much. They mentioned like his parents died and stuff. But if you want an origin story, Batman, go watch Batman begin, okay? Um Okay. Uh this is like mainly mainly um uh an origin story of Joker because like you're watching it and you're watching it, and you're watching it, and you're like, where's the Joker? And then you're like, oh uh he fake get burn or whatever in the chemical and then he get reborn as the Joker. <laughs> and making everyone on TV laugh with chemical, laughing gas or whatever. Um Vicky Bell played by Kim Battner. Um she always looks familiar when I think uh, uh, seen her in this movie or another movie. I'm like, uh, she looks familiar. The only other movie I've seen her in, uh, Never Say Never Again, okay? She was a Bond girl, but it, it wasn't, it was a, a fictional, unofficial Bond film, okay? Not in the, it, it, it like, Auto McCannon Bond movie, okay? They don't count it as part of the franchise, okay? If they did, uh, then, um, No Time to Die would be number 26 and 25, okay? And then when you, when you buy the, uh, box set, uh, it don't come with that, okay? So you're made by a different company, instead of, like, what, Z uh, MGM? Um, so, this is the other movie that sees, uh, Kim Bakesner in. This movie and Batman, okay? Um, um, okay? And then this is, uh, the only other movie I believe, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the, uh, Lando, they gotta play Lando from Star Wars. Okay? So I think him in the Star Wars franchise and Batman. So, so I need to look it up and see if, if he did, like, another movie that I, I forgot that I know that he, that thing on there. Okay, um, but, um, but one thing I know that I, I caught my attention was when he was driving in the Batmobile with, uh, Vicky Bell, he didn't, he didn't try to, uh, you know, spray some, uh, uh, bat gas on her and make her go straight or put up over her eye, you know, cause like most of the other, other Batman movies or, even the Adam West, they, they, they try to put stuff over their eye or back gas so they can go to sleep and not know the location of the back cave. I'm like, what? Uh, uh, if Vicky Bell, uh, if Vicky Bell, uh, uh, Bruce Wayne girlfriend, and I thought they were, they were like a uh, part some time where Alfred was trying to um, get uh, Bruce Wayne and uh, Vicky Bell together, and and Bruce Wayne didn't care about Vicky Bell. Okay, um, and uh, does. Bruce Wayne, I, I, I mean, uh, does Alfred know that Bruce Wayne is Batman? Cause like, like, uh, there was some Batman movie, or I, I think it was the Adam West TV show, um, um, he doesn't know, I, I think he doesn't know that he's Batman, but he knows, but 
but he, he kind of like acts like he knows that he's Batman in this movie. Okay, so I don't know. Let me know. Okay, so like, so like some movie he acts like he knows he's Batman. In other movie he doesn't. He doesn't know his secret identity. Okay, um, so um, I would say this is a classic movie. Uh, Jack Nicholson uh, is the star of the movie. He shines. Um, okay. Uh, I won't get mad at you if you say this is your favorite Batman movie or even Batman Return. Because, you know, the last, few, last 10 years, I've been hearing uh, uh, Dark Knight is the best. Okay. And uh, people attack you. If you if you bat me up the Dark Knight movie or 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 something like that, okay? Um and um and funny thing is um uh, yeah, okay. And I wonder why Michael Keaton only made two Batman movies. Okay. And I wonder why it's showing Michael Keaton in the trailer and not keeping it, um, uh, keeping it, uh, a secret. Cause you know, with the Andrew Garfield or Tom McGuire, was it one of them? Said they were the end, No Way Home. And then they show up in the movie and now nobody believes them and never gonna believe what they say no more. Okay, I don't know, okay? And another thing, another thing is, um, uh, if, Michael Keaton wasn't in the Flash movie, but people would be still still high for the Flash movie. You know, Ed, all the stuff that Ed Miller that did, and then he still still the Flash. Yet, uh, the other guy uh, go to court. Um, um, Uh, Jonathan Major, uh, uh, the rumor that, uh, 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 the one rumor said that they're gonna still keep him, and then another rumor said that Marvel gonna uh, drop him and get rid of him because of uh, all the allegations. Yeah, so, um, so, my final question is, would, would people still be high for the Flash Marie if, if Michael Keaton wasn't in it. Okay. Like, you know, all the nostalgia. Uh, people are like running back and going back and uh, watching Batman 1989 and Batman Returns. Michael Keaton. Okay. I think Michael Keaton even did a good job uh, with the Spider Man Homecoming and uh, The Vulture. And that was my favorite part about the movie. Cause he was fantastic at the folks, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, and I was shocked when I looked on my tomato and that low, okay? Uh, there's some other, there's some other, uh, comic book movies that, I, that, that my tomato get a high score, I'm like, no, that comic book movie tonight got a high score. And Batman, 1989, she got higher score in no comic book movies, okay? So, this is a Rotten Tomato score that I do not agree with, okay? Um, I would at least give it like, uh, maybe an 85 or something on Rotten Tomato. Like a B plus or an A. It's a classic. Um, one of, one of the better Batman movies, okay? Okay? So, yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so like either a B plus or an A, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. And then in a day or two, I'll go watch Batman Return and give my opinion on it. And then I'll tell you which, um, Mike Keaton 
that memory I like better. Okay? Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Until next time. Thanks.